here in UBD. It's a three-year undergraduate program where students spend the first three years doing the medical studies in UBD, followed by three years in partner medical school once they qualify and if they're eligible, of course. And the current partner medical schools are in the UK, Ireland and Australia. Yeah, um, I think that quite a lot of students here, in fact, they told me they have experience like traveling also to feel the atmosphere or environment differently so from here. And they're learning and at the same time they enjoy their life, even though it's temporary. And afterwards, they get some idea. They also so learn how to love the uh, okay the, the people or, or living in a different environment outside. And when they um, have the opportunity to go to public school outside, then they initially so have a um, very good uh, basement. I agree uh, with ideas. you. Ideas. Yeah. The students should learn how to live independently yes. because they cannot just be comfortable in their zones. Yes. When they go out there, they blend in the community, the international community. They learn from others as well, from the international experience. Um, and that will help them mature as well and you know becoming better in what However, of course with anything there's going to be some challenges with students and things and Dr. Lee have you ever encountered any uh, challenges with the students that they could maybe need some assistance with? Yes, uh, uh, especially with my experience to teach the pathology so pathology is one of the challenges to module for students especially from the uh, very uh, early uh, yeah, stage like a year one so it's a challenging, but somehow I found students are very motivated, hardworking, and they try their best to overcome all the challenges. And finally, they understand the, the disease uh, much better. So all of those are, are there. Some very important keywords there: hardworking, motivation, reflection, learning, uh, corrective yes. behavior as well uh, are all important skills that we want students to have. So to begin with, I actually like to study about the human body and the human system, especially in the physiological and the biochemical aspect. And honestly, it's quite interesting to study about different branches of medicine, such as hematology, neurology, endocrinology, and so many more. And learning all of these makes me appreciate what um, our body does in order to make us live and survive and make us human. As a cohort leader, I believe that I have somehow balanced my life by time management skills through probably making my timetables and ensuring that I get both enough rest and also um, getting my academics done. Okay, that's my perspective. Yes, I would say my perspective towards the course has changed when you compare to how I thought the course is about back in my first year. So when I think of it, uh, back in the first year, I would always think that medicine is about diagnosing patients with the diseases and then giving them medication and yeah, that's about it. But as I went, as I go along, I learned that medicine is actually more than that, more than just giving medication. So one of the important things that I learned is that you need to have a good connection with the patient. So that's very important. You know, when you have a good connection with them, meaning that you can build a good communication and strong rapport. That's how you make the patient feel comfortable and will eventually open up to you. So it is very important for doctors to show a good emotion towards the patient, have a good empathy, offer help, and a genuine one. So I think that anatomy is one of those uh, subjects that I find difficult. Well, initially I thought it was going to be easy since it's going to be just visualizing um, objects and you can see it in 3D, like you can see those models at the back. But then, actually, it's more challenging than I expected. It looks like a probably a simple structure. But then once you learn more about it, you read and then you watch videos and you look at the models itself, there's actually more to it. There are different, uh, different ways
ways that you could be with, etc. And there's different many weird names to it. But then you need to memorize all these things, and you need to memorize them in 3D, and you need to know them well. So that is very difficult for me. But then after, when you learn anatomy like really deeply, and then you spend a lot of hours into knowing it, and then once you get it, it feels very rewarding, I would say. So the way I overcome this is mainly via uh, YouTube videos. So I, I just search up, um, I don't know, pelvic, uh, pelvic system anatomy, just straight into YouTube. And then just watch a video that um, simply, like straightforward, just explains the general anatomy and then go to the nitty gritty details of it. So that really uh, is great for me. And then the thing about videos, you can just rewind and you just can watch them back as, main, as much as possible.